To start, I use the butternut to capture my curve. I then moved on to the jig making process. For tutorials on bent lamination, check out my videos linked in the description. With the jig made, it was time to start bending. I'm using butternut wood to match my butternut curve. Butternut wood is actually a member of the walnut family and is sometimes called white walnut. Once my bends were cleaned up, it was time for some joinery, but before I could do any chisel work, they needed to be sharpened. I have a range of Japanese water stones, 800 grit to 8000. Where I start depends on the severity of my chisel's edge. If I was previously too rough on them, I might have some chipping and have to start at the 800. For mild wear, I usually go for my 3000 stone and work my way up to the 8000. After each chisel has passed over the 8000, I then follow that up with a leather strop. My chisels are sharp when I'm able to shave the fine hairs on my arm. For this piece, I've chosen a basic half lap joint. This is perfect for a beginning woodworker. To start, measure the thickness of your wood and divide by two. Transfer that measurement to both pieces of your wood and determine how long you want your joint. I went with an inch and a half. You will chisel out half the top of one piece and half the bottom of the other. When the two halves are overlapped, they will form the thickness of your original piece. You will lose some width in this process, so plan accordingly. To hold my test tubes in place, I added a Purple Heart wood divider. Before attaching the divider permanently, I drilled holes for the test tubes. For the glue up, I started joining the curved pieces at the main half lap. Once this joint was dry, I could glue in the divider. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. After sanding my piece, I saved my sawdust to make wood filler. Keep different types of wood separate for the best color matches. For easy hanging, I added a second piece of purple heart to the top. This would also provide some extra stability. Following a final sand, I applied two coats of tongue oil and allowed to dry completely overnight. The last thing I did was to attach this little card holder so that I could hide my screws and add a label. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already, and I hope to see you soon.